loves and welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new here my name is ella i am 27 and i live in adelaide with my husband and our cocker spaniel puppy mabel i do a lot of vlogs personal finance videos um i work a nine to five as a travel agent monday wednesday friday so i only work part-time and then i put part-time for myself doing my social media so it's a good time around here it's friday today so it's a work day i have to head into the office a little bit early we're catching up for a little debrief we've had <laughs> quite a crazy week at work just like with different changes within the team and stuff so yeah we need a good debrief I've just been like so busy as well with work stuff so keen to get in the office and just like crack on with some stuff I work I think I mentioned as a travel agent am I like repeating myself here I work as a travel agent so I like book people's holidays for my job which is always fun today is Nick and I's six year anniversary which is crazy six years since we started dating can't believe it I know we are married and usually like the wedding anniversary kind of takes priority after that but as I said in my reset video I think it life's too short not to celebrate the little things if there's ever an excuse to celebrate like I'm going to take it we're also trying to prioritize at least two date nights just to spend good quality intentional time together and we're doing one inside and one outside of the house every month it's my turn to organize the outside date so I kind of centered it around it being our anniversary and so tonight we're going out which I'm really excited about Nick has no idea what we're doing but I guess I can tell you guys because he's not here right now um I booked this a couple weeks back but we are going to a candlelit orchestra it's the Coldplay and Imagine Dragons like inspired one so they're going to be playing Coldplay and Imagine Dragons music like this orchestra with all these I am so excited it keeps popping up on my TikTok as an ad and my Facebook and I was like you know what this would be perfect it's like a fun fun little things to do the tickets actually weren't too bad they were like $40 each which I didn't think was too bad that's at 8 30 and then right after we're gonna go to dinner at Osteria Oggy which is one of the places we went on like our two-year anniversary or something we haven't been there in ages so it's a really beautiful restaurant so we're gonna go there tonight it's gonna be a late one <laughs> i'm running on like five hours sleep because i was up till the early hours of the morning finishing my book i finally finished fourth wing by rebecca yaros i'm sure everyone in the mother has been talking about this it was really good i think i would rate it like four and a half stars i really enjoyed it there were some parts where it was a little bit i don't want to say slower but there were, like the pace was a little bit off, I guess you could say. And then right at the end, like the last 50 pages, it was like boom, boom, boom. And I was like, oh, okay. I just feel like it could have maybe been like a hundred pages shorter, but I love the dragons. I love the relationship and the dynamic between the dragons and the riders. I loved the romance in this, like the slow burn. It was so good. And the last page, oh my gosh, the last page had me shook. So yeah, finished that last night. I immediately want to start reading the second one because it left on like such a cliffhanger. So I'm gonna pick that up. I'll probably download it on my Kindle, I think, because I'm sick of reading a physical book. I love having it. Like it's just, it looks so nice. I can put it on my bookshelf when we eventually get a bookshelf. It's really pretty. I love having a physical book, but I just read so much faster and it's just so much easier and more accessible on my Kindle. It's so much more comfortable to read. So I think I'm gonna download the next one on my kindle we also chose our book club book which i'll share with you guys i need to start that because we're already like halfway through january um and i have fish to cook <laughs> kind of random and not what i want to be doing at 7 30 in the morning <laughs> but i have some fish in the fridge that i defrosted and we didn't have for dinner last night so i'm going to cook it up for lunch today <laughs> It is the whole 12 hours later. I just came home from work, took a little nap because I was not feeling the best, but I'm awake, I'm alive. Fit check, what do we think? Sorry, don't mind the state of my office, it's an absolute disaster right now. Do we like it? Is it a bit short? It's too late if it is, because I'm wearing it. I think I've just come to realize I'm just a tall girl in a little girl world. And I'm just gonna have to make do, do you know what I mean? Like there's definitely some dresses that I actually cannot wear out i feel like this is borderline maybe maybe i'm just overthinking it i don't know as long as i can sit comfortably that's like my prerequisite for the length of a dress i have to be able to sit comfortably and i can in this so 
It just feels short. I don't know why. Anyway, got my cute little bag from Princess Polly. My shoes are Princess Polly. Dress is from the iconic. And then I just have in my gold hoops that Nick got me for Christmas. My usual gold pearl necklace. Wedding engagement ring. Do you know what it is? No. <laughs> Remember we saw that candlelight concert thingy? The Coldplay yeah. one? It's that. <laughs> said hello yet today i'm just putting on some makeup ready to head out for the afternoon i don't know if i mentioned this but we have pub golf today with our friends so i'm lining my stomach with some plain honey toast i feel like that's the responsible thing to do before a weekend of drinking and yeah we're doing pub golf today which i've never done before and correct me if i'm wrong but i think we have nine different holes like different spots that we have to go to and there's different drinks that we I meant to drink at said spot. There's like a par one, par two, par three. If you play golf, I'm sure it would make more sense. I don't. I used to, I don't know if anyone knows this, but I used to play golf with my dad. My dad was part of this quite nice golf club and they did like free lessons for kids. I think they were free unless he paid for them. I actually don't know. Now you mention it. <laughs> I just assumed it was part of the part of the gig but I did that when I was like 11 12 I wouldn't say I was good like I, I definitely wasn't good I just know like the general gist and basics of the game because my dad's always played golf he was a very good golfer he still is a good golfer so I asked my dad what I could borrow he's given me this hat this GMA golf management Australia hat that he got for free he was like don't worry if you lose it not a problem and then I'm just wearing this dress because this is like I literally do not have anything golfy I was thinking of wearing a tennis skirt and I used to have this vest like I actually wore it back like three years ago. You know the big like vest and tennis skirt combo? And I've gotten rid of it. I thought, I'm not gonna be wearing this again in a hurry, am I? And now, <laughs> look at me. This is why you don't get rid of things. But yeah, we have a big day ahead of us. Um, we're gonna go drop off Mabel to my in-laws because obviously we don't wanna leave her. Someone needs to feed her. We left her last night. We were gone for like four or five hours, which is pretty standard. She's like, okay for that amount of time. She got a hold of a whole toilet roll, like, completely shredded all of the toilet paper and then proceeded to shred the actual roll itself. It was honestly pretty impressive. And she knew she'd done something naughty when we came home. She looked so guilty and I was like, oh, here we go. So we're gonna drop her off on our way and yeah, have ourselves a day. This is like a little one last hurrah with all of our friends because two of our friends, two couples are moving away. One to Melbourne, one to the UK.
Good morning, you guys, and happy Monday. I'm just about to log on to work. I don't think I picked up the camera at all yesterday. I was very much bedridden for the majority of yesterday after our pub golf antics, which was so fun. We just had the best time, but we didn't get home till like 12, 12 30. And so, yeah. <laughs> Needless to say, it was a very chill day yesterday. I ended up getting up and like going for a walk and doing some stuff around the house, just like tidying up a little bit, but. Otherwise, it was pretty uneventful. I did make lasagna soup last night, actually, for the first time. You guys know we're trying to try at least one new recipe a week, and that was our dish of choice. It was really good. We'll definitely be making that again. It's not really soup weather right now in Australia, but crank the aircon, you'll be right. Anyway, I'm about to log on to work. I think I'm on the phones today from nine to one, so I'm gonna get cracking with that. I managed to tie up a lot of loose ends on Friday, just like, sending some documents. I think I have a couple of phone appointments today. Friday is a public holiday and I don't work Thursday, so I'll be off from Wednesday to Monday next week. So yeah, that's gonna be my day. I'm also vlogging on my Sony camera for the first time in forever. I've just been having problems with my Canon recently with the audio. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the audio has been a little bit quieter because I've had to turn down like the audio levels i forget what it's called <laughs> i'm not a camera camera gal if i have it up any higher there's this like weird like windy sounding noise even if it's not windy it's not all the time as well which is kind of annoying i don't really know what the go is with that I, I don't know if it's like the aperture the camera is just like trying its best and that's what you can hear but anyway i decided to switch to the sony it's also just like so nice and portable like this is so light <laughs> and i love it let me know what you guys prefer it's just so lightweight and easy to use. I think it'll be perfect for when I'm traveling in the US, which is so soon. But yeah, I'm gonna log on to work. I'm working from home today, which I don't normally on Mondays, but they're working on the internet, like network system in the office. So they asked for those who can work from home to work from home. And then I'll work from home Wednesday, which is my usual work from home day. So I won't be in the office at all this week. This will just be me sitting here for the foreseeable future. It's just gone past one o'clock. I'm just going on my lunch break. I'm gonna make myself this coffee. A few of you guys recommended using this. I forget what it's called. It like catches everything. So it makes it so much cleaner. And this has been a game changer. This came with the machine, but I was like, I have no idea what this is. Don't know what it does. I was just gonna ask you, do you want another coffee? What a day, you guys. That's all I've got to say. I feel like I'm on the cusp of like almost bursting into tears. I'm feeling so overwhelmed, not in any other aspect apart from with my work, which is so unfortunate because I only work part time. Like there's only so much I can do within three days, but I, yeah, there's been a lot of like team changes in the last week. And so because of that, I've been given like extra work, which is, you know, it's just part of the job, it's what you do. And I know I'm not the only one that has all of this extra work, but I'm just feeling so overwhelmed right now. It's almost six o'clock, I've just finished work for the day and I feel like I accomplished nothing. I ticked one thing off my to-do list and then another thing was added. You made me wanna cry. You're so sweet. <laughs> Thank you. 
I swear dogs just know when you're feeling down. Like I, oh my God, you're so sweet. Oh my God. Dogs are just too pure for this world, I swear. You're such a sweetie. Thank you, Moo Moo. Anyway, yeah, just feeling very, very overwhelmed today. I know it's just one day and I'll be fine by the end of this week and I've got, you know, a full... I think it's knowing as well that I won't be here on Friday, actually, because <laughs> it's a public holiday. Like, I, I just know how much work I have to do in one day and I just, it's, like, simply impossible to get it all done and I don't want to let anyone down and, yeah, I'm just feeling really, really, really overwhelmed. But that's life. That's life. <laughs> This could make me cry as well. Nick is like the most supportive husband ever. He can see how stressed and overwhelmed I was. And so normally you guys know, why am I crying about this? I'm literally talking about grocery shopping. <laughs> Nick knew how stressed I was and you guys know every Monday we go grocery shopping together. It's just a lot easier if we both go at the same time because we can kind of just like tackle it as a team and it's actually a part of my routine that I really enjoy it's just like it sounds stupid but just spending that time together coming up with the menu for the week finding new recipes and stuff so we did that together but he's actually gone grocery shopping by himself because he could see how overwhelmed I was he was like you just need to relax and decompress from the day so that's exactly what I'm gonna do I've just fed Mabel Moo I've lit a candle and I'm gonna sit here and read I just finished fourth wing as you guys know so I'm on to my second book of the month. I wanted a quick, easy read so I could tick off my January goal. I love thrillers. That's probably one of my favorite genres is thrillers. I just get so consumed by them. So I thought this would be a nice quick read. None of this is true by Lisa Jewell. I've read a couple of our other books and I really enjoyed them. And I posted on my Instagram story. I had so many of you guys DM me saying how good it is. So I'm already hooked. Can't wait to keep reading. So I'll keep you updated on that. Maybe I'll give you guys a grocery haul if I'm feeling up to it. But yeah, it's gonna be a very chill evening. We just have leftover soup lasagna for dinner tonight. And I'm going to chill the fuck out because I really need to. I do. I'm just feeling very overwhelmed and very stressed. And I just wanted to keep it real because you know, it happens. I like to think of myself as a fairly chill, adaptable person. I've had to be with, you know, different experiences life experiences or situations i've been in like i i would say one of my key strengths is being adaptable and rolling with the punches and being cool calm and collected like that's just my personality but there's just some instances or days where it just it's it's not happening for me i'm feeling very stressed so i'm gonna go decompress chill the frick out and talk to you guys when I have some groceries to show you. <laughs> for me and you. It's a blind grocery haul, so I have no idea what they got. Ooh, iceberg salad mix, lettuce, got some protein yogurt, light sour cream, orange juice. We got some fish, some chicken for wraps. And then for me this week, we got turkey mince and chicken breast. Chicken boobies. And we got some bread, bananas. We got some posada. 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 Two soy milks, onions. Some whole grain wraps, got some rosemary, apples, and a couple of the Wicked Sister high protein puddings. Some cherry tomatoes, chocolate, chobani, jelly, I got watermelon. Is that what you had last time? A couple of avocados, pizza bases. Audi didn't have pizza bases. Ah, uh, I forgot to look. Oh. And a big old bag of frozen mixed berries. Is that it?
Good morning, you guys, and happy Tuesday. Oh, hello, Queen. We have had the most beautiful morning. A morning good for the soul. Mm. I'm feeling so refreshed. We went for a sunset, I was going to, no, sunrise. Yeah. We went for a sunrise swim, grabbed a coffee at our favorite, and now we're home, all before like 7.15. Half seven. Yeah. Feeling so nice and refreshed. That was exactly what I needed after yesterday. <laughs> Okay, I'm okay. I know. Mabel had the best time. That was our first time, like, both properly going in for a swim with her because it just, like, hasn't been hot enough. And I think she was so confused. She loved it, though. She did. She loved it. But I don't think she knows how to say no. Like, she doesn't know when to stop. So she was just constantly swimming because we were both in there. I was like, hey, you got to take a break. <laughs> just me out. You take a breather. Anyway, we're going to go inside now, make some brekkie, and have ourselves a day. You're working from home? I'm working from home for myself. How good? Abel's just being a freeloader <laughs> as per usual. I just finished this book. I literally devoured it in like two sittings, less than 24 hours. I finished this. None of this is true by Lisa Jewell. I have mixed feelings. On one hand, I loved it. I could not put it down. It was so addictive, which is a sign of a great thriller in my opinion. It was looking like it was gonna be a five star read for me up until like the last 15% of the book. And then it just lost me. It felt like the book lost steam and I felt like the whole time I was just waiting for another twist to finish off everything. Cause it was so dark and so twisted the whole way through. And then like the last 15% was like the explanation almost. I was like, there's gotta be more, you know? I felt like it was unfinished and it was very clever. The way it was written was so clever. The way multiple POVs and past and presents were so effortlessly intertwined. Like I thought that was amazing. And I love Lisa Jewell's writing. She makes you so invested in the characters, which I feel like it's really hard to do with a thriller. Um, even characters that are like dark and twisted, like you're invested in them. It felt like there was a lot of character development as well, which I feel like is really hard to do with thrillers. So I love the writing, but yeah, just like the last 10, 15% just like lost me a little bit. It also ended with the reader having to like make a decision as to what was true or not, which normally I don't mind, but it just felt like there should have been something else, like some other explanation. I don't know if that makes any sense. There's been other books like Verity, which I loved, that's like very much giving the reader authority to decide what is real or what version of events is real. There's like a couple of other books that I've read that are similar to that. And I usually enjoy that. I don't know, you get to like decide for yourself. It's like choose your own adventure. Like what do you believe? It just makes you reflect a lot more on the book, but this, I don't know, it didn't do it for me. I was like, I need clarification here. I do. <laughs> it wasn't a bad book by any means. I would really, really recommend it. A nice fast paced read. Maybe if you're in like a bit of a book slump, it was a good thriller, but it wasn't my favorite. It so would have been a five star read if it wasn't for the ending. I just felt like it was missing something. I was waiting for another twist and it just never came. I actually was looking back at like my previous book highlight because I have a little book highlight on my Instagram. I think I read Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell and I actually had a very similar experience. I completely forgot what I thought of that book. I remember enjoying it. It was another four star read, but the last part of that book, I I felt like I knew what was happening. I knew how things ended. I knew what the twist was and it was just waiting and watching the characters to discover that. I really enjoy her writing though. I think she's very talented in my humble opinion. You know me, book expert over here. But yeah, I've finished yet another book. I literally ate that up within 24 hours, which is always a sign of a good thriller in my opinion. And I finished my goal for January, which was to read two books. I'm gonna start our book club book tonight. We were arming and ahhing. Originally we were gonna go with a coho book, but my friends don't have a Kindle, like they have to buy physical copies and it's really hard and expensive to find some books. So we were trying to find one that was available at Big W and this is what we landed on. I think they have just released a movie, I wanna say, or is it a TV show? I don't know, I'm out of the loop. But Boy Swallows the Universe is our next read by Trent Doughton. Oh, it's a Netflix series. So I'm gonna 
by that. I'm excited. I feel like I have really gone into 2024 and taken it by the horns, like starting a book club, getting back into my gym routine. Like those are simple things, starting pickleball. But sometimes it's just like taking that first initial step and actually getting the ball rolling that can be really daunting and I'm really proud of myself. 2024 is the year of getting over those mental blocks and just doing the dang thing and putting myself out there out of my comfort zone and just embracing new things. I'm starting scrapbooking as my little side hobby, like my thing outside of social media, which I talked about in my last vlog. I don't know, I'm just feeling really, really good about 2024, apart from yesterday. <laughs> but that's life, like that is life. Full of highs and lows and we're all about keeping it real. All about keeping it real around here. I'm proud of myself for picking myself up, processing my emotions last night. I read my book. It definitely helped that Nick bought me a beautiful bunch of flowers and he's always so supportive and like truly my rock in everything, um, especially on the bad days. He allowed me to feel my feelings and I'm feeling so much better for it. I was determined to wake up this morning and set myself up for a good day. That sunrise beach swim was the perfect way to start my day and I'm feeling so good. But yeah, I think I might end off this vlog here just because I'm gonna spend the rest of the day editing and then I have big wool tonight, so not really missing much. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this vlog, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. Subscribe as well if you're not already and follow me over on my Instagram and my TikTok. And I'll see you guys very soon for another video. Bye guys.